cowpoke been riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw a plowing through the ragged skies and up a cloudy draw. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We begin the next matchup in the tournament to just decide the first ever Canadian heavyweight champion. It is January 13th, 1950. This is the next match in the WWCA's founding era. Baron Horst Mueller with the uh, surprising upset in the first round, knocking off Whipper Billy Watson. And then Wild Bill Longson took out Wallace Montgomery to meet up in this semifinal matchup. Coming out first is Baron Horst Mueller from Berlin, Germany. From Berlin, Germany, weighing in at 232 pounds, Baron Haas Miller. The Baron, 37 years old, World War II vet. In exile from his native Germany, came to Canada, as he said, to defeat all comers and show his superiority. And Wild Bill Longson out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And his opponent from Salt Lake City, Utah Weighing in at 240 pounds, Wild Man Bill Long Sutton. Bill Longson definitely has the experience edge over Mueller, as he is 43 years old coming into this match. A veteran of the squared circle. Mueller already with one major upset in this tournament, knocking out the current British Commonwealth Champion Whipper Billy Watson. And we are underway, and Mueller right off the bat with a swinging neck breaker. And drops a fist. Oh, goes for the head, but but Longson is able to get out of the way. And now Longson, nope, Mueller reverses it with an arm drag takedown. Misses a kick, and Longson with a takedown, move his own. Mueller with a snap suplex. Drops the knee to the back of the head. Scoop slam. Plants Mueller and is going to go for the pin. I'm sorry, Plants Longson, but Longson is able to kick out. And the back and forth match this goes. The winner will advance to the finals. We'll take on next week's winner. <clears throat> Mueller lifting Longson up nails him with a hard right whips him into the ropes and delivers an L oh Longson blocks it a block by Mueller 
Mueller plants Longson face first into the mat. Not sure what you call that move in 1950. Mueller waiting for Longson to get up. Lariat. Dragging Longson toward the center of the ring. He goes for the cover. And Longson kicks out. Longson able to get his shoulder up. Mueller looking now. He's going to pick up the wild man. Oh! Sweeps leg takedown. And Longson now going to after the left arm of Mueller. Payback is fair play in this one as he plants Mueller face first into the mat. And then a takedown by Mueller. Mueller goes for the cover. Gets his foot on the middle ropes. The referee does not see it. But Longson's able to kick out. Mueller with a flapjack. Stomps wildly and misses blatantly. Drops the fist right across Longson's face and shows the fans the same fist. Longson with a hard right. Calling for the pile driver. This is his finisher. If he hits it, it could be over. He spiked him right in the middle of the ring and he covers the German. Oh, and Mueller is able to kick out. Longson cannot believe it. It looks like, ladies and gentlemen, that yes, Longson's face is bleeding. He is a crimson mask. Dragging Mueller into the center of the ring. Drops the fist. Heck of a clothesline. Another one. Go! Oh, wow! Longson flying across the ring. Shoulder tackle. And it, Mueller is also bleeding. Longson drops a knee to the small of Mueller's back and he was waiting for the German to get up. Going for the pile driver. Spike pile driver right in the center of the ring. Goes for the cover. This is the second pile driver on Mueller. And Mueller kicks out again. The fans cannot believe it here in Ottawa, Ontario. Mueller kicks him to the face. Follows in with a hell of a clothesline. Covers one. And Mueller kicks out at one. He's getting his second wind. Maybe his third or fourth wind. Mueller getting free. Nails Longson with a right. <sighs> Traps his arm. Stomps on the elbow. Longson breaks Mueller down with a shoulder block. Drops a leg. Brother right in the center of the ring. And the chin lock. We could be here a while, the way these two combatants are going at it. Neither man wants to give up. They're both bleeding. They're looking through blood-stained vision. Longson trying to get a submission hold on the chin lock. Let's go. Going for the cover. Looks like Longson uncharacteristically getting his feet up on the ropes. Trying to pull out all the stops in this match. Mueller with a with an elbow. Takes Longson down with a clothesline. Goes for the cover. But Longson kicks out before the referee can even get in the position. Mueller thinks he's got this match in hand. Drops a knee right to the back of Mueller's head, or Longson's head. Flying leg. Lariat. Oh, kick to the back of the knee. And Longson takes Mueller out of the ring.
The two men now battling outside. Longson throws Mueller back in the ring. It's where the match has to be won. Gets his foot caught in the ropes, but still is able to drive Mueller's face into the mat. Flips him over and goes for the cover. But Mueller kicks out. How can any man see with all that blood flowing? Vicious wrestling match. Spike pile driver. That's number three. You don't get up from three of those. Mueller's got to be at least two inches shorter after all those pile drivers. And yes, Wild Bill Longson has advanced to the finals of the first Canadian Heavyweight Championship match. It was a hard fought battle back and forth. Here you see Mueller planning Longson, driving him head first in the mat. Longson returned the favor with a couple of his own. Here's one of his three pile drivers. Pile drivers proved to be the difference as Longson's able to get the win. This is another pile driver. Releases the chin lock there. And Wild Bill Longson out of Salt Lake City gets the win. And he will advance to the finals in two weeks, where he will take on the winner of the Canadian Destroyer and Al Mills. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on Canadian Wrestling on Friday nights, your local Ottawa television networks. Until next time, we will see you at the matches.